The trick is really to do it in the right way though, because it's very easy to have a big corner through a song or whatever. You have to yeah, it's be quite careful with it, I think. Yeah, I think you think you have to cut it into the mix for the rest of your life. Yeah. You know, you know, you just tend to really come to Probably not, because I don't feel like it makes much of a difference. Yeah, it doesn't really in this country, but I guess that's something that we're looking to overturn. I mean, people do have the power of the day, but we don't realise it, so that's one reason. Yeah. I guess it, it is kind of the disillusionment of the youth with regards to like our, um, our political leaders and not having enough faith in, in anything that it, in anything that they actually supposedly stand for. There's been a lot of um, untruths told. Be lies whenever we get from them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so secular in this country, like different, different cultures, and uh, it's like it's like politics right now is a soap opera of its own, really, which a lot of people don't watch. It's the idea that people were dealing with things that I cared about, and uh, I had a voice in it, I guess. So hopefully there'll be younger leaders coming to the forefront, like community people that are in their 30s and 40s coming into into power because they're a little bit more in touch with what's going on without like so obviously trying to like placate to like youth or like you know what I mean like you don't know, see a politician like swinging out with big trainers on going yeah Britpop you know what I mean or something like that like everyone's just over that everyone's clever enough to see through it so we need somebody who's going to speak about real things and, and, and come with kind of a light, lighter touch. I don't think anyone's going to put it. Prime Minister in the 20s. Not, uh, not 20s, no. but, some, but you know, well, Barack Obama's it's 44, so I mean, that looks so pretty good. About the age. Like, I think it is a lot. Tony Blair's the youngest Prime Minister since Pitt, and I might have been voted. But it's, so, it's about, about being genuine. I think and that, and that, that's, a, that's a language that transcends every every kind of politics and, and every person and every culture. So I mean and then that's what people should look to in music really. Just be genuine and, and care. I think you have to remember with Tony Blair that when he came to power we'd literally just come out of what was effectively still Thatcher's Britain. And uh, at the start he did a lot a lot of <laughs> uh, positive things. There was an inkling of a renaissance when he came, a bit like Charles II. Kind of thing. It gave the country a level of optimism, but then in the end, I think any... any It was a good time, really. And yeah. yeah. Anyone could really have sat in that seat, I guess. But Most political leaders are kind of bound to fall in the way that Tony Blair did. Um, yeah, the war and the kissing America's ass wasn't really... Um, yeah, I mean, also, the, the thing with America is to get out of British hands as well, really. Yeah, he acts more like, that a, more remote. He acts more like a president than, than, than a prime minister, which it seems like. This is Dirty Pretty Things for Youth Music. We have the power, you have the voice. Please use it. Close. Use it. Don't take any notes. Ah. Just sing what you'd like and do what you'd like and don't worry about stupid political messages. Just, <laughs> if you believe in them, say them. If you don't believe in them, don't say them. But, don't be under any pressure to do what these people tell you to do. Just be free. Can you, nice. the Can you not bring your mum <laughs> <laughs> This is dirty, pretty things. This is a beautiful, <coughs> handsome thing. <laughs> <laughs>